You can use a bunch of different spices from sage, nutmeg, rosemary, oregano, dill weed, a horny goat's weed. Yes, that's a thing. It is a new year and I know a ton of you probably have resolutions that you've set and I'm pretty sure in that top five, usually people do 10 resolutions. Healthy eating or getting fit is something you wanna do in 2020. I'm a firm believer in resolutions because I like starting fresh. I understand how people need a certain date to start again or to start anew, but I usually think if you wanna to start tomorrow, you can also start tomorrow. So don't hold yourself to just doing it in January and February. Make it a constant conversation with yourself and just checking on yourself to make sure that you are sticking to your resolutions. Instead of having 10, maybe try having two and then try to stick to those two in 2020. I'm gonna show you today how I like to eat when I'm being extra healthy and this is what I'm calling the Power Bowl Matrix. All the different types of ingredients that you need to make just tons of different dishes. These aren't recipes. We're gonna cook all the ingredients very simply and then we're gonna get creative in terms of how we assemble them. It's a very simple way of eating because the prep time is actually quite short and all you're really doing is assembling things at the end just to switch things up so that you don't get too bored. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our vegetables. We're gonna pop up your grocery list of potential vegetables on the screen so you can go ahead and shop for them. So all we're doing now is prepping all our vegetables. We made a selection of vegetables that we know will be really good just in the oven. That way we can kind of forget about them and prep all our other ingredients. Next, we have some sweet potatoes. You don't necessarily have to peel the whole skins off, just clean it up a little bit. Next up, some cauliflower. We're gonna break these up into little florets. Put that right in the center. Next, we have some tomatoes. Usually I would remove the more liquidy center part, but for this recipe, I'm just gonna keep everything together to keep things nice and simple. Some broccoli, some bell peppers, a couple of onions, and finally, some mushrooms. Those are basically all the vegetables that we need to cook. So all we gotta do is sprinkle some olive oil on everything, some salt, some pepper, and all this goes into the oven for about 40 minutes until it's all cooked. Next, we are gonna be prepping the protein. So here today, I don't wanna to waste too much food, obviously, because we don't have that many mouths to feed, but we're only gonna work with chicken thighs and rib fingers or some beef. But this is where you can add all the different types of proteins that you actually enjoy eating. Things like salmon, tuna, codfish, whitefish, um, shrimp, squid, pork, maybe pork, be a little bit wary about that one because it's really high in the fats that you might not want to have. Um, grass-fed beef, it has to be grass-fed, that's super important, and some chicken obviously and some eggs. I'm going to be working today with chicken and beef only and all of these proteins can be cooked extremely simply just with some garlic, some salt, some pepper and some oil. That's all we'll need. Some oil goes into both pans, half your garlic. Once you've got a little bit of color, throw in your chickens in one. These are boneless chicken thighs and then your rib fingers in the other one, some salt, a little bit of vegetable broth with both of them once you've got a bottom sear. Then in a pot of hot water, drop in a couple of eggs. While waiting for our proteins to cook, very simple, let's talk about the other ingredients that you don't actually need to cook or that actually come pre-cooked. So we've got things like beans, you can use local beans if you have them, like mungo, mung beans and things like that. Corn that's already pre-cooked. You can also have arugula that doesn't need to be cooked. Then you have things like green leaves, romaine, kale, absolutely beautiful. Lemons for flavoring, avocados, things you just need to slice. So these are kind of like the ingredients that don't need any preparation. We'll just need to be prepped to put on the finished bowl. For flavor, easy. Things like raisins are absolutely perfect because they add sweetness to bowls and are very easy to top. Same as you would if you were adding cashews or almonds and stuff like that. We'll put the full list for you so that it's much easier to follow. Then you've got things like Parmesan cheese that actually help bring flavors or more complex flavors to a dish. 
sauces of whatever your favorite salad sauces are, simple vinaigrettes, balsamic vinegars, olive oils. These are basically the little things that will just heighten the dish up. Hummus is also a great source made with chickpeas, obviously. We have done hummus episodes before, so the recipes can be put up there. That's a nice little spread that you can add on top. Finally, things like Greek yogurt, absolutely beautiful as a binder. And obviously, olive oil, salt and pepper, key to making any dish really tasty. Finally, for the starches, if you need them, you can use some brown rice. You can also use some quinoa. If you wanna be low carb, quinoa is a great option, but it can be quite expensive, so brown rice is a great option. But if you don't wanna have carbs at all in your diet, that's fine as well. You can use all the vegetables that we have in the oven right now, or you can use things like chopped cabbage, which are great substitutes. If you wanna add more flavor to your proteins, then you can use a bunch of different spices from sage, nutmeg, rosemary, oregano, dill weed, uh, horny goat's weed, yes, that's a thing. Um, you can use curry powders, paprika, cayenne. All these things are very, very low in calories and don't add any other form of like heavy nutrients to your dish. They're really just flavor builders. And if you want, you can either use them dry or use them fresh with things like parsley, coriander, basil, arugula if you want to. Let's check on our proteins and flip everything. Everything is ready. All our vegetables are out of the oven. Our proteins are cooked. The starches are ready to go. So all we gotta do now is assemble everything. This is when things get interesting. You're gonna need a lot of spoons to just combine everything together. So all you gotta do now is grab a bowl and start layering all the important food groups. So what I like to do is usually start with a starch. Brown rice. At this point, it's really up to you, depending on what diet you're following. Are you low carb? Are you keto? Are you vegetarian? Are you vegan? It's really up to you how much fat, protein, and carbohydrates you wanna add into each bowl. That's why they're usually called power or macro bowls. A macro bowl just means you have all the main macronutrients in there, which are protein, fat, and carbohydrates. So there is no set way of doing this. It's really up to you and your personal preference. So make sure you just adjust it depending on what you like. I'm gonna show you a couple of bowl variations that I enjoy. So the first one's brown rice. Then you can go ahead, let's say broccoli, a couple tomatoes, some roasted onions, some chopped chicken. Then you wanna do hummus. So let's do one nice dollop of hummus. Then we're gonna use some arugula and basically that first macro bowl is done. Then let's say you wanna do something different. Let's do quinoa. Since quinoa is not super high in carbohydrates, we can add to that a little bit of sweet potatoes, some green and red bell peppers, some of my roasted carrots, some rib fingers, these are delicious. Some French style vinaigrette, some corn, some parsley, and a chopped piece of lettuce. There you have macro bowl number two. And let's do a purely vegan one, quinoa, Mushrooms, onions, broccoli, corn, hummus, arugula, red kidney beans. You've got a beautiful vegan bowl. This is gonna be a slightly heavier carb dish. So I've got lots of brown rice. Everyone's a fan of beef and broccoli. So some broccoli, some beef, red kidney beans, Parmesan cheese, and just a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And now we're just gonna keep making them. Quinoa, cauliflower, chicken, French dressing. Let's do a carb-free one. We can do that as well. Tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. Kind of like a little fajita bowl going on here. Some chicken, you can serve that with just a little bit of lemon. If you want just sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, chicken, some Greek yogurt, and all these can be adjusted with salt and pepper if you want to. Mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, this time I wanna use quinoa more as a topping, less as a main starch. Just put a little bit in there for texture. Some beef, some raisins, a bit of French dressing, and done. I could literally keep going. You see how much food we actually have here? You could feed tons of people, but one way to look at this is you can actually say, all right, this is a great way to do a meal prep because you have all these ingredients, you're cooking them at once. All you're doing is assembling everything. If you want this for the rest of the week, very simple, all you gotta do is, once they're all put together, without the sauces, put that in the freezer, 
then you can keep that easily for one week, two weeks, no problem. And it's just a great way to get quick nutrition in your body, but also healthy nutrition. So let's try one of these. I'm gonna make one more that I'm gonna actually eat. The rest of my quinoa, my cauliflower. This time I can mix my mushrooms and my onions and my bell peppers, a couple of roasted tomatoes, some corn, chopped up lettuce, avocado, some beef, hummus on the side, fresh parsley, some fresh basil. Literally, you can just keep packing things in. And uh, let's just say, for a little color's sake, let's put a couple of carrots in there. Isn't that something you'd wanna eat every day? I would. So make sure to adjust things with the seasoning that you like, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper if you need it. The best part about these kinds of dishes is that all you gotta do, take that dressing or sauce that you put in and then literally just combine everything. And because the preparations of all the ingredients were super simple with just salt and pepper, everything goes together because the only added flavoring you're adding in terms of seasoning is that dressing or that sauce or that hummus or whatever you wanna add. You can add things like tzatzikis and stuff. I'll put a bunch of suggestions all over this video. So simple, but it's so delicious and it's super healthy. If you don't want to eat it in a bowl, grab some wraps, wrap it up into like a burrito looking thing, and you've got so much variety to choose from this January. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Try it out. Send me some pictures of your meal prep. Let's make 2020 the healthiest year yet.